Hey everyone, Justin here. Welcome to another comic book haul. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe, do leave a comment. Love, would love to hear from you all. And I'm gonna get through this haul quickly because it's kind of late already. And uh, but I do want to show, and I'm but I'm excited to show everyone my latest haul. Um, I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna nickname this haul the Run with a a, a haul with runs as usual as you, as you know by now but with a lot of twists, nice twists at the end. And you'll know what I mean when I show you uh, the books. Okay, starting with, uh, all these books were from, I think they're from eBay, but from different sellers. Um, but I'm gonna show you as, as they come along, so it's not really in, in order of the sellers. Um, so I'm gonna start off with Star Wars, some uh, Dark Horse comics first. Um, I really like the, non-canon Star Wars stories and uh, well I, I'm going to refrain from giving my opinion about what's been happening in Star Wars lately but you know we could always go back and, and read these books again for comfort so um, I like some of the titles that I've gotten in this this run here uh, there's Vader's Quest parts 1, 2, uh, I don't know where 3 and 4 is but then there's Dark Lords of the Sith, which, which is very interesting, talking about the early history of the Jedi. It's one, two, three, four is Dark Lords of the Sith, and uh, this one. Okay, they're all part of a, a run which I paid only like $14 for, but the only reason why I got this haul, or this run, is because of the last book I'm going to show you, which is this one here. That's right, I managed to find this book as part of this run, and this run only cost me like $13, which is, I mean, it's not that great a price, but it's good considering it's an eBay find, and you know, this book, I, I, I didn't know much, I don't know much about it, but I do remember it, 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 fetch, it fetches a good price, so I'm going to check out the price and realize, oh, it's, it's, it's good. The price it does, that people ask for is good, so yeah, very happy to get this book. I think you can go anything between like 20 bucks to even like 60 bucks and it's in really really nice condition unless of course for some reason it's a reprint but hey just glad to have this book which is Flashpoint now at some point uh, last year or the year before this series was super hot because uh, the Flash TV series used part of the storyline for this or used this as inspiration and there was talk about I think there was rumors, more rumors than anything else, of DCEU using Flashpoint as uh, a potential storyline. So these books were quite hot for a while. I got one, two, three, and four. The run did not have number five, which I think would be easy to find, but I got this for a, a really good price that I was happy to pay for. X23 number one, which is the, uh, the limited, uh, the red cover. This goes for quite a bit and I got it for a good price. And I'm gonna show you a run of Final Crisis. Um, this is actually my second copy of, of the whole run of this. And again, okay, it sounds crazy, but the only reason why I want to get it is because maybe I could, you know, sell it off for, sell it off for a good price. Uh, this is the director's cut for like issue one. All really great variant covers by JG Jones. This is the regular cover. This is number two. I mean, you know, I think the covers are worth collecting. This is the one that everyone loves to show in the haul videos. You know, Alex Comic Hoarder always shows this. And uh, like him, if I see it, I, I just want to get it. Such an awesome cover. Number four. Number five. Number six. And finally, number seven. All amazing covers. Another haul, another run. Actually, I'm going to show you is Infinite Crisis. This is number one, which is I think is the regular cover. Hmm. Where's my? Oh, well, okay. This is number two, which is a nice Jim Lee run, which I'm sure some of us will appreciate. Another number three is a Jim Lee cover. Really awesome covers. Number four. Look at that. Can't go wrong with Jim Lee. Number five. First appearance of uh, Jamie Reyes, or is is it pronounced Jaime Reyes? It's, Blue Beetle, number six, with Superboy Prime. 
It's not one of his better covers, but it's still a Jim Lee cover. Right? Um, the one thing I like about Jim Lee is that he really draws the, the, the whole splash page. He, he's, he's a master of the splash, splash page. I mean, if you grew up in the late 90s when what his Wildcats, Wildcats came out, his early issues, you had splash pages which were folded in. So if you took out the folded pages, it became like a huge, like a four page uh, splash page, which is just amazing. It wasn't very comfortable to read, but anyway. And the secret files and origins. Oops, sorry about that. Um, this is Shazam, the Monster Society of Evil, and it's actually drawn and maybe written by Jeff Smith. And we, and if you don't know who Jeff Smith is, he's the creator of Bone, which is a, a really popular comic, indie comic. Um, and the artwork is amazing in this. Storyline is great. I suggest you check it out. Um, and I hope the movie kind of uses this as, a, as an inspiration because it's not so much as a speculation, it's more like I think it's just such an amazing storyline. It'll be kind of wasted if you don't use this. So just really nice, colorful color covers. Amazing. Now next I have a quick run of Amazing Spider-Man, which the, the some books from um, Todd McFarlane's run. And that's 318, 319, 320, Newsstand, and 321. And I was very, I was very happy to get this particular set. I mean, the books are super clean. Uh, Batman Dark Knight Returns, number uh, book four. I'm, I hope this is the first printing as advertised. But I don't have a, uh, I don't have a set of this, so I'm just trying to see if I can get it on the cheap and complete the set. And it seems to be really nice condition. Amazing Spider-Man number 161, when Spider-Man meets Nightcrawler for the first time. And uh, yeah, just an early Spider-Man issue that I want to get to complete my run. New X-Men number 31, this book was very hot for a while. It still commands a decent price, but this is the first appearance of Kimura, who is X-23's arch nemesis, you know, comic book style. Um, who knows what they're going to do with X-23? I mean, Marvel is, you know, Disney's potentially sitting on a, on a huge gold mine now with, with uh, all, all these characters that they have bought back. And... Um, Let's hope we hope we see her in a movie pretty soon. Okay, so the next few books I'm really very happy to show you, and I'm going to talk a little bit about these books. So, um, I think the more difficult books to get, which is the uh, or the more difficult Swamp Thing books to get under the Ellen Moore run, is of course the issue where he starts drawing or starts writing. Sorry, he starts uh, doing the storyline. That's issue number 20 over here. And if you go online, it can fetch a really, really high price. So at first, um, let me just show you the other two books. So I saw 23 and 21. I bought 21 thinking that that was the first issue because, but 21 is still um, significant because Ellen Moore rewrites or clarifies the original Swamp Thing in which uh, he clarifies that Alec Holland had already died and Swamp Thing is just a former shell or is a shell taking over the mine. Uh, I don't know if that has changed with New 52 or Rebirth but this is a landmark uh, issue to get and that still, this fetches a good price. 23 is, is the next issue, so it, the early LMO issue, so it also fetches a good price but either 21 or 20 is the one that you want to get. So I bought it from this guy and it was a decent price and the, the twist or the lucky part here, if you, if you don't mind me talking about it for a while, was that he texts, he messages, messages me on eBay a few days later saying that he had actually sent the wrong book to me <laughs> and he actually sent number 20 to me and he claims this is a VF condition and I was like, hey, you know, uh, I know you sent it wrong, but I'm really sorry. I stay in Singapore. I don't stay in the US. So it's going to cost you even more or myself even more to ship it back to you. Can I at least pay you for the book instead of having to pay the shipping back? And he said, sure. He's, he did it. I think he sold it for, to me for like uh, 
12 or 13 dollars which i think was a good price i was expecting it to be a vf condition as, as advertised what he told me but when i saw the book i mean yeah okay so there's some something going on here but the insights are so clean there's nothing to indicate that this book is, is VF at all. So I'm really happy to get this, even if it was just a mistake by the seller. So yeah, I'm so very happy to get 20 and 21. I'm going to complete my my Ellen Moore run on, on the Swamp Thing stuff, especially the early issues. So super happy to, to have gotten this by accident. Okay, last book I want to show you is Jess Alias number one, first appearance of Jessica Jones. And... Uh, I have a copy of this, but um, due to improper handling through the postage, there, there's a small crease here, and I've been really wanting to find a replacement copy. But you know, um, as you know, that this issue is very, very hard to. Uh, well, it's it's not hard to find, but people are asking a lot for it. There's a few spine ticks here, which I'm okay with. Um, but I got this book under fifty bucks, which I thought was a good deal. Um, since I got it from eBay. Yeah, so anyway, that's my haul, guys. I hope and gals, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, see you soon.